Rodney Bryant is officially Atlanta's police chief now with his new permanent role. He is wasting no time addressing your safety and the violence in Atlanta. This is our top story this morning. Mara Sirianni joining us from outside Atlanta PD headquarters. Mara, walk us through this plan and what does the new chief say that he can do to crack down on crime and keep people safe? Hey, Aisha. Well, Brian says he plans to restructure the department, and this announcement comes on the heels of sadly yet another violent weekend in Atlanta. So this announcement was made yesterday after a nearly five hour Atlanta City Council meeting. Again, they officially named Rodney Bryant the chief of APD. So among changes, Bryant says he will create a new domestic violence unit, restructure APD's investigative unit, expand the gun assault team, which investigates non fatal shootings. He also plans to crack down on restaurants that are really operating as nightclubs and bars illegally after hours, improve 911 call response response times by hiring more dispatchers and focus on finding both in and out of state recruits to fill the officer gap. I think that will significantly cut down on some of the things that we are seeing. And APD is currently down about 400 officers. Aisha, city council members agree that recruitment is something that really needs to be a main priority and focus for the department. Mara, when you hear about plans like this to crack down on violence, one big question a lot of people have is, okay, this sounds good, but when is all of this expected to actually take effect? Yeah, it's a really big undertaking and initiative here. City Council members say really there's no time to waste. We need to uh, make Atlanta safer immediately. So um, Chief Bryan says that he's hoping to get these plans underway effective immediately. Of course, we'll follow this and uh, let you know how all of it pans out. All right, thank you. All new this morning, part of addressing the spike in crime in Atlanta is coming from the city's newly approved budget for 2022. There's increased funding for a public safety camera network, along with money for the city's light up the night program that will add 10,000 lights along streets and areas with high crime rates and crashes. Other key items in the budget include funding for interest payments for affordable housing investments, along with pay raises for police and firefighters. There's also money for the vaccine equity partnership with MARTA that will allow free rides for people to get COVID vaccines.